beloved of the Lord, blood-bought child of God, ah, he loves you so much. In this video, we're going to go over the comparing and contrasting of Job's behavior. We're going to look at Job's behavior from God's standpoint, and then we're going to look at Job's behavior from Satan's standpoint. Let's get started. In a previous video, we went over Job's behavior from God's standpoint, and we learned what God has to say about Job. Job was blameless and upright, one who feared God and shunned evil. That's Job 1.1. 1, 1. And then Job 1.22, talking about all the difficulties that Job was going through because Satan touched him and tried to destroy him. Well, what happened when the pressure was on? Job 1.22 says, In all this, Job did not sin, nor charge God with wrong. There's God's standpoint. Now let's look at Satan's standpoint. First off, we know what Satan was trying to do because of the conversation that God and Satan had with one another. Let's look at one of the tactics that Satan used to turn Eliphaz, Job's righteous friend, from his righteousness into the wickedness of pointing at Job, saying that he was to blame. The words of Eliphaz the Temanite, starting in chapter 4, verse 12, Now a word was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a whisper of it, in disquieting thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on men. Fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. I'm going to stop right there and just think about that for a minute. He was scared. It was dark and deep into the night. And his bones were shaking inside of his body for trembling of fear. So far, this doesn't sound like a good spirit. It does indeed sound like a powerful spiritual experience, but not one from a good spirit. Let's continue. Then a spirit passed before my face, the hair on my body stood up, it stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes, there was silence. Then I heard a voice saying, so I don't know about you, but if I was in Eliphaz's shoes, whatever this thing is about to say, I wouldn't trust it. But for whatever reason, Eliphaz did. Can a mortal be more righteous than God? Can a man be more pure than his maker? If he puts no trust in his servants, if he charges his angels with error, how much more those who dwell in houses of clay? So as you can see, Satan sends the spirit to Eliphaz, and its tactic is to make righteousness look like evil, cause a man to look at good and call it evil, and to look at evil and call it good. That's obvious because it's saying, a man who is pursuing being pure like God and being blameless like God is bad. Obviously, we cannot be more blameless than God, and obviously, we cannot be more pure than God. That's the tricksy, clever, tricky nature of Satan. He says things that are true in a way that's very beguiling. Whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before a moth. They are broken in pieces from morning till evening. They perish forever with no one regarding it. Does not their own excellence go away? They die, even without wisdom. Wow. So here we have Satan pointing at Job and saying, because he's so righteous, he must be to blame. That's really all Satan can do at this point. Well, I would say that was a good thing for Job that Eliphaz opened up and said, Job, this is what I saw. This is what's going on in my mind. It's one of the first things that Eliphaz says to Job. So at least Job knew what he was up against. He knew that spirit didn't come from God. He knew that Satan was attacking him and attacking his friends. He knew that he was a pawn in a greater spiritual battle. And he withstood the enemy with might, power, excellence, 
and humility, never charging God with wrong and never sinning. But because his life was full of complaintative things, he indeed complained and spoke the truth of the matter that he was in. I hope that this video helps lay a more solid foundation for you as we jump into the book of Job and other things that are around the book of Job and even fringe around the book of Job. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy more videos like this by clicking the bell icon and hitting uh, notifications always or person, personalized notifications. But because this isn't a popular YouTube channel, if you don't hit notifications always, you're probably not going to see these videos in your newsfeed. God loves you like crazy, and I hope that you're blessed. In his name, forever and for always. Amen.